Gene Price is on dry land in Cincinnati today. He's meeting with community leaders to talk about how the Navy impacts our region. But first, he is joining us live in studio. And thank you so much for being here, first of all. Thank you for your service as well. No, no, thank you very much, Bob. It's great to be here. Well, and you know what? I, I hate to say it, that, of course, you know, as a country, we all recognize what the Navy does for us. But here we are in Ohio. We're, you know, sort of landlocked and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily think about how the Navy impacts our region specifically. So as you talk to community leaders, what do you talk about? Uh, we're well, we're just telling the facts. Yeah. Uh, and here's some of the key salient facts for Cincinnati per se. About 26% of all the jobs in the Cincinnati metro area are tied to international commerce. 90% of all commerce internationally goes by sea. Sure. So it stands to reason that all impact. these jobs are tied to the ability to deliver goods overseas. The Navy's job is to make sure that the, the globe's waterways the, the highway, so to speak, yeah. are free and open and secure. And by doing that, we enable commerce to happen uh, around the world. And the United States, of course, uh, is probably the, one of the greatest manufacturing places on, on the planet. And that's, that's a quick jump to get there. You know, it, it's not, that, that's not many steps removed. That's the yeah. Navy directly affecting jobs right here in our region. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's amazing. You were mentioning something about one of our ports that I just found fascinating that, that, that I was gonna ask you about again. Yeah, the uh, Port of Cincinnati is one of the busiest inland waterway ports in the United States. What that means is uh, we can, Cincinnati can take the goods that you build here, yeah. put them on a, a tug or however, get them down the Ohio River to the Mississippi and they pop out the Gulf of Mexico, and from there, they go all over the planet. Yeah. And that happens right here in Cincinnati. And by the way, we're building uh, the latest littoral combat ship, which okay. means it operates close to shore, okay. Okay. the LCS. Yeah and it is the USS Cincinnati. How about that? Yeah, we're pretty proud of it. We're gonna commission it on the 5th of October, and there's still tickets available. You can, um, uh, if you Google the uh, Cincinnati Commissioning Committee, yeah. You can get you can tickets that way and see that yes, happen. Yes, sir. We'd love to see you there. That's great. Now, <laughs> well, where where does that happen? That's going to be down in Mississippi, okay. Gulfport, Mississippi. Yeah, uh, it's a big deal. If you've never seen a ship come to life, yeah, that's what they'll do. The crew will literally run on board in their dress whites. Not these are summer whites. I mean the choker whites. Yeah. And they'll show up and they'll uh, bring the ship to life and then take her away. What's it like for a crew to go aboard a brand new ship like that? I mean that's got to be. That's going to be pretty exciting. I mean, the first yeah. time taking it out, all that kind of thing. Yeah, well, you're right. It's uh, we call those guys plank holders. Okay. I've never been a plank holder. I've always wanted to be one. Yeah. But you get to be the first crew, and forever you're memorialized uh, as a, the life of that ship. And it's a very big deal for these crews. And they've already been here to Cincinnati once. I think they're coming back at some point. Yeah, let's check uh, in with them. A yeah, bit. but yeah. It's, a, it's a really cool thing to see. That's really, really neat. You know, when you talk to young people, I'm sure you get a chance to do that frequently. What do you tell them about a career in the Navy or why going into the Navy might be a good idea for them? Uh, there's so many opportunities in the Navy. Uh, I'm speaking while I'm here to um, UC. I've been over to NKU. I've mm -hmm. talked to the Inter-Alliance for Youth. The Navy is building out more networks. Uh, information is key and vital to everything the government does in sure. every sphere and that the Navy is no different and we are bringing on people to learn how to operate networks, uh, operate weapon systems, operate the technology that supports that and if they just give us four or five years yeah. to really understand how these things work, we're finding that they get uh, really good jobs when if they want to get after, after their first hitch they, uh, their employment prospects are uh, very looking good. Looking pretty yeah, good on the, on, the, on the other side, yes, so, sir. so to speak. So There's to speak. a lot of patriots in this area, too. Yeah, there, there really are. There really are. Well, if people want to find out more about you, more information about the USS Cincinnati, or, or just anything else that might sort of pique their interest in terms of what the Navy uh, is doing and how they have an impact on our region, what's the best way to do that? Uh, well, you can always go to uh, um, www.navy.mil, okay. and that M-I-L, and that tells you all about the Navy. The commissioning committee is probably one of the best ways to get that information. And if someone just go it's kind of long, yeah, just Google, just Google it out, and USS whatever line comes Cincinnati up. Yeah. commissioning, right. and that'll take you right to it. Excellent, excellent. Rear Admiral Gene Price, thank you so much for taking some time today. We oh, really, thank really, you. Really do appreciate you stopping by. It's been by. great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a great city to be in. Yeah. USS Cincinnati has a nice ring to it, don't you think? It's uh, 9.15 now. We'll be right back.